Red Hat's innovation process is one of the top leading processes in the world and a reference for many other companies, especially regarding open innovation, the core of their strategy. In general, their management and strategy are outstanding. The company's historical success speaks volumes with regards to this claim, as the company not only is the strongest example of an open source based SaaS company, but is also capable of capitalizing on their advanced practices and business models by selling its expertise to other companies in the form of open innovation labs. While Red Hat is clearly an innovation front runner in their industry and beyond, the company's major strengths in terms of innovation are more to be seen on an organizational level, less in their actual products and services. While the last are of course commercially successful, giving rise to a very comfortable competitive situation and thus represent the state of art technology-wise, they do not represent game-changing technological breakthroughs. Overall, we assess Red Hat to be a disruptive innovative company, at the verge of becoming a radically disruptive company. We believe that Red Hat has all the cultural and organizational prerequisites to do so, but some strategic changes could improve their innovation management process even more. First, the company should improve their long-term versus short-term innovation management, as right now, there is no clear supervision regarding a balance between these investments. The projects to work in are decided in a democratic way inside the company or chosen from their open innovation labs according to relevance and attractiveness. Nevertheless, the establishment of a percentage of their R&D expenditure that should be devoted to a long-term and short-term investment could guarantee the survival of the company and also strengthen their actual competitive advantage against competitors. Second, the inclusion of a radical innovation hub should be considered. For now, all the innovation initiatives are managed inside the company. The creation of an independent entity would make sure that the company would work on radical innovation projects, ensuring the long-term survival of the company. Despite Red Hat's open structure, radical innovation projects could still be overseen if they are managed inside the same entity and through the same budget. Third, an improvement in their pipeline management is recommended, since some selection criteria are applied already, but they should be re-examined through the whole process in order to ensure their investments are the right ones. Even though the company has an outstanding innovation system, the inclusion of at least one of these recommendations could improve their success even more. Nevertheless, the company should evaluate if these recommendations are compatible to their open organization policy.